Hey everyone, today we're practicing division. But first I'll remind you that when we had equal groups and we wanted to know a total, that we could use multiplication to find that total. Then we learned that if we started with a total and we wanted to separate that into groups of equal size, that we could use division and that would tell us how many groups we had. Similarly, we learned that if we started with a total and we wanted to separate it into equal groups, that we could use division to find the number in each group. So that's all we're doing today. It's just now we're going to use a lot more cookies. Today we're starting with 1,281 cookies and we baked them in seven hours. We want to know how many were baked each hour. So we're starting with a total, we're separating it into equal groups, and we're looking for how many are in each group. So let's start that division. We'll start with our division symbol, and then we'll put our total underneath and the number we're dividing by on the outside. And now we're all ready to go. First we ask ourselves, does 7 go into 1? Doesn't look like that's going to work for us. So then we ask ourselves, does 7 go into 12? Well, yes, it does. How many times? It goes one time. That number goes above the 2. Then we multiply the 7 and the 1, which gives us 7, and that goes under the 12. Then we subtract, which gives us 5, and we bring down the 8. Are you with me so far? Great. Now, we want to know, does 7 go into 58? Sure it does. How many times? Well, that's one of our favorite multiplication facts. That's 7 times 8, which gives us 56. And that goes under our 58, and then we subtract. 58 minus 56 gives us 2, we bring down the 1, and then we say, does 7 go into 21? Why, yes, yes it does, and it goes 3 times. And 7 times 3 is, anyone? Hello? Is 21. When we subtract, there's nothing left over, and that's how we know we're done. So, what were we trying to find out again? Let's go back and look. Oh, yes, we baked so many cookies in 7 hours, and we want to know how many were baked each hour. So we've learned that 183 cookies were baked each hour for 7 hours, which gave us a total of 1,281 cookies. Who wants to try one more? I do. Great. This time we've baked 2,187 cookies, and we're putting them into gift bags, and we're told the number going into each bag. We want to know how many gift bags were made. So we start with a total, and then we're separating it into groups of the same size, and we want to know how many groups we're making. So let's set up our division. We put our division sign with our total underneath and the number we're dividing by on the outside. Now we're all set up and we ask ourselves, does 9 go into 2? Well, not with any numbers we know. Does 9 go into 21? Yes, yes it does. And it goes twice. And 9 times 2 is 18. That goes underneath, then we subtract. We're left with 3, we bring down the 8. With me? Great. How many times does 9 go into 38? Goes at least 4, which gives me 9 times 4, which is 36. I subtract, then I bring down my 7. Does 9 go into 27? Why, yes. Yes, it does. It goes 3 times. 9 times 3 is 27. That goes underneath, then we subtract, and we're left with 0. So we're all done here. Now, what was it we were trying to figure out? Oh, yes. We were putting the cookies into bags, and we put nine in each bag. We want to know how many bags were made. We made 243 gift bags, each containing nine cookies for a total of 2,187 cookies. Yummy. Now it's your turn to practice division.